It's a staple in almost every hand. Walking, talking, texting. We are rarely more than a few feet from our smartphone. What do you think your cell phone knows about you? Everything. It knows like where you parked at, it knows your house. What I like, websites are frequent, stuff like that. A tiny device packed with all that data. But is it too smart? It does kind of scare me. It does, like someone's watching me. A little bit, but not much. You know, I don't really have nothing to hide. The truth is, your cell phone likely knows more about you than your best friend. The data is just out there, and there's not much we can do at this point to get it back in. Alex Hammerstone is a cyber expert with Trusted Sec. You can go in someone's maps history, you know, if they're using navigation um, applications, and you can oftentimes see years of location data, right? I mean, where they've been, what they've done. He says your phone stores everything from your location to your search history, your bank information and who you know. If you look in your photos app, the iPhone even uses facial recognition to name your friends. People are just really quick to click those user agreements and give their phone just massive amounts of information and permissions to track their purchases and their whereabouts and, and really just tons of things. But it's likely not your phone that's sharing the information. That honor goes to all the apps. You know, nothing in life is free. And so if an application is free, you are the product. And Hammerstone says they sell it. If your phone is sitting in the parking lot of a, you know, a certain medical clinic that provides one type of care, and it's there for half an hour or an hour every week, you can start to you know, think that the person who owns that phone may have that condition. And that's where you start getting targeted ads, a search for boots, a new vacation, and let the ad space begin. You know, your phone knows if you're married, um, you know, because it's people, you know, tell it and, and based on purchase histories and social media. I talk about something and next thing I know, it's on my phone, like in my feed on one of my social media. And although a phone does pay attention to noise levels or keywords like Siri, experts say it isn't actually listening or recording without your knowledge. It doesn't need to do that because we're already giving it all this information with our internet searches and our location. Really just connecting the dots more so than they are actually spying. Correct. Hammerstone says most users are less concerned about leaked locations and shopping preferences than they are about personal stuff. I mean, it would make Thanksgiving really awful at my house, you know, if all of a sudden, right, every relative could see everything you've ever said for the past 20 years. And many phone users admit they kind of like that their smartphone is just so smart. I lost my car at like a mall or something. Yeah. And I go and I find the iPhone thing. And it's like yeah. my car is parked right there. Like a tiny personal assistant none of us ever actually hired. Experts say the best way to protect yourself is to not use the same password for all these apps. You may not think it's a big deal if someone gets into your LinkedIn account or a game, but if you use the same password for those accounts as you do for your banks, well, you can easily see how that can become a problem. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.